Where are you, where you from? Where? Hold on. Where are you at, though? California. No, no. I, I, I'm talking about like you. I want. I want to see you. Oh shit, dude! I'm in bed, buck naked. So guys, what we're dealing with is a woman who got married to a man who actually saved her life, gave her a child after she already had children with a quote unquote deadbeat. And um, she basically uh, used that situation for stability, something I'm not mad at. But I just need y'all to understand how modern women deal today. They don't get married for love. They don't get married for legacy. They get married and they they get with a man for stability. So make sure you're stable. But also, guys, don't let these women use you out here. <laughs> I'm not trying to be on screen. Well, you just show your face then. Just oh, your face. You, might, you might not be able to see it. Cut it out. I'm just trying to live my life. I can see your face. I can see you. Yeah, I just got out of the shower. Um, where are you from? California, Central. Actually, what do you do for a living? I'm a stay-at-home mom. I just take care of the house, the kids, the husband. Yeah. That's a great job. And, and, and I'm going to tell you something right now. Love you. I love you. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to you. Can I ask you a few questions? Is it, you All right. Okay. How old are you? 37. 37. Um. And you said you would stay at home mom. Yep. Is there a problem with being a stay at home mom? Uh, there can be. Like, if you ain't got a, a decent, healthy friends, you know what I mean? To hang out with on a regular. You know, you know, you know what? You know, I asked you the wrong question. I'm going to ask you. Oh. you and then let me do this. Do you have a problem with being a stay at home mom? Sometimes, yeah. And, okay. It can get depressing being around your kids all day long and not having an adult to talk to. Stop it. Man, you know what okay, I mean? Man, okay, man. okay, that's your kids. No, I do talk to her. Talk that's, to my that, daughter all day. You know what that's called? That's called sacrifice. Oh, I know. Brr. But um, no, but I don't want to chastise you. I don't want to. I don't want to come at you crazy. Um. Would you prefer to be a stay-at-home mom or would you rather be one of these little thought pieces out here just getting dig and doing, you know what I'm saying, going on hot girl summers and doing everything? What, 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 what's, your, what's your preference? I've never been one to be a hot girl summer. Stop the cap. That's for sure. Okay. I've kind of, I'm kind of always been grounded. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. I feel safe at home. You know what I mean? It's my sanctuary here. How long have you been a stay-at-home mom? Oh, shit. Since my daughter, she's seven now, since she was two, okay. I put her in one of those welfare daycares and they abused her, so I haven't worked since. Hey, you felt like you were... It's more important for you to be with your daughter instead of somebody else, right? No, they abused her there in the daycare. Right, right. right. And they, they abused her. So you felt like, you know what? I don't want them to abuse her. I would prefer to be, you know, a security. I literally struggled to stay home. I didn't have an income. I was I was struggling hella bad to find a place to live. It was hella hard, you know, but I did it. And now I'm married and four bedroom. You know what I mean? I It's OK now, but it was a struggle. So when you say you're a stay-at-home mom, are you saying that you was, you you're still you're with the baby father? That yeah. Okay, and he's the one that that you know that makes sure he you holds know. it down, takes care of me and my kids. Um, yeah. So you you're a stay-at-home mom. You got the father of the child holding it down. Mm hmm what I got three kids. With the same dude? Nah, he's taking care of two kids that ain't his on top of his own. Um, the kid that he had with you is that kid younger or older than the kid? The baby. Had? The baby. Damn it! So basically, 
the child he has with you is younger than all the children you had. Yep. I got a 12, a 7, and a 4-month-old. So the 4-month-old is the one that he had with you. Yep. I'm remarried. Second marriage. Damn. Okay. okay. So them other two children, those are from the other husband. Yeah. Okay. What happened with that? Why didn't that work out? Drama, man. Too controlling. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Too controlling? Oh, yeah. It was horrible. When you say controlling, what do you mean by that? Like, get, be specific. Like, like what, okay, what is, he would want me to take a picture. He would want me to take a picture of wherever I was at. I wasn't allowed to have a cell phone. I wasn't allowed to have internet. I wasn't allowed to go anywhere. I couldn't dress a certain way. He changed my mileage on my car to make sure I just went to work and I just came home. And if I went anywhere else, he would know it. Like, he was horrible. Okay. Um, Nobody should be left, like, in a cage like that and be treated. Oh, that's good. You, you call it in a cage. Well, the things that you're saying, I, I can, I, I get it. You know, it, it sounds. I didn't do nothing work. wrong. All I did was work and come home. Now, guys, at this point, I don't want y'all to take anything at face value because women tend to make their situation sound or seem worse than it is. I'm not saying she's right or wrong, but what I am saying is she sounds very familiar, okay? She sounds exactly like women who make it seem like something was this way when it was that way. For instance, women pick wrong, and then when they finally are done with that dude that's when they try to extract everything that was quote unquote wrong about that dude but they will still give that man a child they'll still give that man the highest honor and you got to question that part and on top of that you still have to get the man's perspective on that right, right. go grocery shopping so he wanted to make he all right, so and it turned out it turned out the reason why he was the way he was is he was the one cheating on me guys i'm scratching my head because modern women think when they pick wrong when they decide to have a child and decide to give commitment to somebody who is derogatory or not right for them they think they sound good by complaining about that guy you're actually a dummy because you chose that guy okay you chose to stay with him and you chose to continue that situation with that guy i don't understand why modern women complain and complain and complain about men that they've been with for years and years and years he used to hit me he was a narcissist he, he was a cheater this and that but you stayed with him and you picked him so doesn't that make you an idiot because you're the one that decided to step into a situation that was derogatory from the first place and even if it wasn't derogatory in the first place the second and third and fourth place should let you know that this motherfucker wasn't good to be with so why do you guys continually have a history with these type of men that says a lot about you as a woman so let, let, let's take let's take away all that you know what i'm saying yeah i want to all right so he wanted to know where everywhere you was at. Yeah. He wanted to have a, a GPS on you, on your phone, etc., etc. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff, I get it. It's controlling. Um, but he also wanted to make sure you wasn't going out on hot, your, your hot girl summer. Yeah, I never went out. I didn't have no friends. Where was I gonna go? But he, he, but that's what he was. He was trying to make sure you weren't doing that, right? He was thinking I was going to do something, but on the under, he was out there doing stuff on the under. But what I'm trying to ask you is, he was he just wanted to make sure you weren't doing none of that, right? Apparently. Okay, okay. Um, was he taking care of everything? Was he financially supporting nope. you? No, he wasn't. Okay. And you know what else he wasn't doing? He was lying to me about what he was paying and not paying it, and then it was coming back bad on my name. Damn. Yeah, he ruined my credit. So uh, the dude that you would now. He bought me a car when I moved when I first moved in with him, and I wasn't even dating him yet. 
Gotti! <laughs> the dude that you with now? Yep. I was renting from him. I was renting. He helped me out, find a place for me and my kids. So I wasn't on the street. I rented a room for a, like what, like six months. He just, we were chatting. We had a lot in common and he never had no kids, never been married. He was 37. No, he wasn't 37. He's 36 when I met him. And uh, yeah, it just hit it off. You, okay. So basically that was your security. It's like, Boom, dude, he, he's secure. I wasn't even talking like that to him in the first no, place, though. It was crazy. Is, but what I'm saying is he made sure he gave you the security that you wanted and you you acquiesced to that. Pretty much. I'm not mad at you for that. I promise you I'm not mad at you for that. He basically told me that if I was to get a job, my whole paycheck would be going to daycare for all these dang kids. And he said it ain't worth it. You might as well just stay home, take care of the babies. I'll give you money if you need it. He buys my weed all fucking day. You know what I mean? I smoke. That's all I do is just take care of the babies. So, um, are you, do you submit to him? Are you submissive to that guy? That's doing no, that? no, we're equals. Huh? Wow. That man literally saves your life and you're not submissive to him? What do you mean submissive? Like, do does whatever he says? Is that what you think submissive is? God damn it. It seems to me that modern women only understand submission when it comes to dominatrix, which is a sexual act. They don't understand submission from a godly standpoint, from a moral standpoint. Trees and the ground and plants submit to the sun because they understand innately that it's going to benefit them in the long run. It seems like women don't understand that submission benefits them in the long run and in the short run with their man or their partner. So when you say that word, the only thing they think about is a is somebody tying you up, putting you inside of a box or, or a cage and telling you what to do. They only think about dominatrix when it comes to submission. They don't think about the natural order and what it's really supposed to be. I find that very, very suspicious, guys. That's well, submissive means there's a dominant, and he would that no, there would be. A, I just want to know what do, what do you think submissive as a woman? What do you think being submissive to a man is, especially a um, man that's going to take care of you and you know your children that's not his and all that? What do you think you submit? What do you think that means to submit to that man? <sighs> just giving him my all okay so are you submissive to him to an extent yeah what so you give him your all to an extent yeah i gave him my 100 on on some things and some things we do it together by, so by, yeah by default you're not giving him 100 percent you need somebody to take care of your children you need somebody mm -hmm. to do this and do that so you're giving him that based off of that but you're not sub you're not submissive to to him 100 percent mm. it's hard to explain because i don't want to say too much about our rematch relationship me, rematch me, rematch me. yeah again if you're not comfortable saying whatever you just let me know i'm just trying to understand you know how this works out you know what i'm saying i don't want you to be uncomfortable if you don't, if you're not comfortable, you can always just be like, hey, a lot of people just don't understand certain types of relationships. And so that's why I don't tell people a lot about my, my business, you know, because a lot of people don't understand. But, but, they don't, they don't understand because they haven't been there and shit. So, and the, and the thing is like, like, I, I, as you can see, my name is called, okay, let's talk TV. And I talk about it. I'm here to have the conversations with people like yourself and other people so that other people can understand and um i'm not mad at nothing you got going on i just want to understand yeah um and and i want your honesty do you think uh, the fact that he was able to 
deal with your child or your children and give you an, do you think that was the reason why you acquiesced to him or is it just like why why are you you know acquiescing to this guy is it is it because it's stability, stability. i'm not gonna lie if you ain't got what a woman needs to, to grow and prosper and maintain a healthy family and this and that, you know what I mean? I tried it. I tried it. I tried it a couple times. It didn't work out because a lot of the younger, younger guys out here, they just want to run around and have fun and live in the moment. Well, when you got kids, you got to worry about stability. You got to worry about your kids getting in school. You got to worry about where they're gonna be you know well 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 you know um women gotta worry about that because women are having unprioritized sex and they end up getting pregnant yeah and the reason why stability comes in is because babies come out of a woman's fun i want to have fun i want to do what i want to do Etc. Etc. Were you having fun, and is that why you had your first two children? My was my my first one was definitely planned. My second one was kind of. Uh, she, I wouldn't say she wasn't planned, and she wouldn't say she was. Okay. It was more or less we, a I, mutual I mean, term. We just talking. We ain't judging. And like. My third one, my last one was definitely planned. But I've yeah, always on, tried on, to on, make your, your sure. Last one. Did you plan that because you wanted stability with that no. guy? No. Okay. Talk to me. Stability I, 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 was already there. He was already taking care of my other kids. Okay. okay. We had been together for five years already before we got married. So, stability was already there. Do I need? Oh, rematch, rematch. Hold on, rematch, rematch. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Hey, look. Great conversation. Have Great conversation. Great conversation. Hey, listen, man. Like, <laughs> guys, y'all, hey, y'all can see. This is why we tell y'all about women. Like, we not mad at them. We understand their nature. <laughs> y'all see what the fuck going on, right? <laughs> I'm done. I ain't, I ain't.